In order for the nervous system to communicate with other cells, action potentials must be rapidly conducted over long distances. The processes that allow the conduction or propagation of an action potential along the entire membrane of an axon are not very different from those that generate one at the trigger zone. A positive feedback cycle is set in motion when a graded potential reaches threshold and initiates the action potential at the trigger zone of the axon. Depolarization of the first segment of membrane progresses as the sodium gates continue to open and lasts until the charge is completely reversed. When the action potential reaches its peak, the positive nature of the membrane causes potentials to spread to the adjacent segment of the membrane. Simultaneously, repolarization of the first segment of membrane begins with the opening of voltage-gated potassium channels and the inactivation of the sodium channels. The graded potential is unable to reach threshold and generate another action potential in the section of the membrane that is refractory. The nervous impulse is conducted along the membrane to the next segment as the graded potential there reaches threshold and self-propagates the action potential again. This cycle, or wave of depolarizations, continues until the impulse reaches the axon terminal.